there, good morning and welcome back. Today we're going to be reading Can't You Sleep Little Bear by Martin Waddell, illustrated by Barbara Wirth. Walker book. Can't you sleep little bear? Once there were two bears, Big Bear and the Little Bear. Big Bear is the Big Bear and the little bear is the little bear. They play all day in the bright sunlight. And when night came and the sun set down, Big Bear took Little Bear home to the bear cave. Big Bear put Little Bear to the bed in the dark part of the cave. Go to sleep, Little Bear, he said. And Little Bear Try it! Big Bear settled in the bear chair and read his bear book by the light of the fire. But Little Bear couldn't get to sleep. Can't you sleep, Little Bear? asked Big Bear. I'm scared. Why are you scared, Little Bear? I don't like the dark. What dark? The dark all around us, said Little Bear. Big Bear looked and he saw that the dark part of the cave was very dark, so he went to the lantern cupboard and took out the tiniest lantern that was there. Big Bear lit the tiniest lantern and put it near to Little Bear's bed. There's a tiny light to stop you being scared, Little Bear. Thank you, said Little Bear, cuddling up in the glow. Now go to sleep, Little Bear, said Big Bear. And he paddled back to the bear chair and settled down to, the, to, to read the bear book by the light of the fire. Little Bear tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. Can't you sleep, Little Bear? Oh. I'm scared. Why are you scared, Little Bear? I don't like the dark. What dark? The dark all around us. But I bought you a lantern. Only a tiny weeny one. And there's loads of dark. Big Bear looked and he saw the Little Bear was quite right. There was still loads of dark. So Big Bear went to the lantern cupboard and took out a bigger lantern. Big Bear lit the lantern and put it beside the other one. Now go to sleep, Little Bear, said Big Bear, and he paddled back to the bear chair and settled down to read the bear book by the light of the fire. Little Bear tried and tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. Can't you sleep, Little Bear? I'm scared. Why are you scared? I don't like the dark. What dark? The dark all around us. But I bought you two lanterns, a tiny one and a bigger one. Not much bigger and there's still loads of dark. Big Bear thought about it and then he went to the lantern cupboard and took out the biggest lantern of them all. I've bought you the biggest lantern. That's to stop you being scared. Thank you, Big Bear. Now go to sleep, Little Bear, said Big Bear, and he padded back to the bear chair. Little Bear tried and tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. Can't you sleep, Little Bear? I'm scared. Oh, why are you scared, Little Bear? I don't like the dark. Oh, what dark? The dark all around us. But I've bought you the biggest lantern of them all. And there isn't any dark left. Yes, there is. 
There is out there. And he pointed out of the bear cave at the night. Big Bear saw that Little Bear was right. Big Bear was very puzzled. All the lanterns in the world couldn't light up the dark outside. Big Bear thought about it for a long time and then he said, Come on, Little Bear. Where are we going? Out. Out into the darkness? Yes. But I'm scared of the dark. No need to be, said Big Bear, and he took Little Bear by the paw and led him out from the cave into the night. And it was dark. <gasps> I'm scared, said Little Bear, cuddling up to Big Bear. Big Bear lifted Little Bear and cuddled him and said, Look at the dark, Little Bear. And Little Bear looked. I've bought you the moon, Little Bear. The bright yellow moon and all the twinkly stars. But Little Bear didn't say anything for he had gone to sleep, warm and safe in Big Bear's arms. Big Bear carried Little Bear back into the bear cave. Fast asleep and he settled down with Little Bear on one arm and the bear book on the other, cozy in the bear chair by the fire. And Big Bear read the bear book, right? To the end. They can sleep. And this is the end. So, see you next time, boys and girls. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.